So let's take a look at the Oxford Dynamics plugin. It's uh, also taken directly from the Oxford console. It has the same look and feel. Um, it's a big plugin with several different sections with these access buttons which change the controls here. Now, if we didn't do that, it would probably take up the whole screen. Um, so we've got a gate here, an expander, a compressor, a limiter, a sidechain EQ. You can actually switch the EQ into the signal path if you want. Um, and a warmth control. So quite a big plug-in. So let's hear it in action. I've got a snare mic here, um, and there's a kick drum that's bleeding through onto the, the snare track. So I'm going to try and gate it out with our gate section. There's a slight overload here. The snare is very hard. So I'm just going to switch the limiter in just to protect our output. And you'll notice that we're not overloading anymore because I'm just limiting slightly. Let's go back to the gate. And I'm going to switch the gate in and just turn the threshold until I've got rid of the, the kick drums. It's still opening. A bit further. Almost. Yeah, nearly there. There you go. Just left with the snare drum. No kick drum. Um, I'm going to compress the snare slightly just to even them out so the hits are all fairly even and to bring up a bit of the zappiness of the snare. Without and with. So very quickly I've got a nice sounding snare. I'm not overloading the output because I'm using the limiter. I'm using all these different sections. So as you can see the Oxford Dynamics is quite a big plugin with a very wide range of uses. So let's take a look at the compressor in more detail. Uh, you've got some controls here in the centre section. You've got even a, a variable soft knee. Um, normally it's either soft or hard, but if you look at the, um, this point here, as I change in 5 dB increments, you can see very subtly that they're changing in 5 dB steps. Um, so you've got a variable soft knee. You've got a dither section, which is um, great for mastering. So if you want to dither down to 16 bit, you can do that. You even get three different types of compressor. A bit like on the EQ, where you get four different sounding EQ curves. Here you get three different compressor types. Normal, classic, or a linear. You'll notice the classic mode strips away a lot of controls, and you're just kind of driving it with the threshold makeup and ratio controls. It's similar to what you'd expect on some classic compressors of the day. And linear is a little bit more creative, um, has a different sound. But um, we're just going to use it in normal at the moment. We are going to look at a vocal and compress the vocal. Also, by the way, there's a key input. So if you're a Pro Tools HD user, you could, for example, key the input to the compressor from an external source. So let's have a listen to the compressor on a vocal. Um, I've already got the compressor in here, and I've got a lot of compression. I've got about 10 or 12 dBs of compression going on here, uh, and obviously some makeup gain. But um, this is just to show how natural sounding the Oxford Dynamics is. The neighbor kids outside are raking leaves. I really want to even Enjoy all the vocals out to the same level, but it doesn't sound heavily compressed. A lot of other compressors, you die in 10, 12 degrees of compression, the you're going to really hear it. Home from school. That's one of the key points mom, about the Oxford Dynamics and the EQ, cool. is that they're very transparent. I learned how to write my name. You'll also the notice that I've got um, an expander coming in here. Away. Very, very quick setting. Kids outside Just so that in leave. between phrases, in, in between lines, it cuts out all background noise, headphones spill, unwanted breaths and stuff like that. Cinnamon, the very, very clean. Home from school. And I've also got the warmth mom, control in here. But it was cool. If I can switch this in and out, I'll show you. I've got this on 100%. He shows just to give it a real nice warmth. Away. Switched it out. And neighbor kids I'll switch it back in again. Raking leaves and jumping in just gives it a really my nice warmth. apple pie and cast a spell with cinnamon. The kindergarten is home from school. I missed your mom, but it was cool. And I it's a really ideal for processing vocals. So now, final example, let's have a look at what the dynamics can do for a bass guitar track. Let's take all the sections out so we can just hear it in its raw state. Let's even solo the bass so we can just hear it on its own. 
So there's our bass, nicely recorded. But we can make it a little bit thumpier, give it a bit of a harder edge. And we can do that with a compressor. You know, switch the compressor in. As you can see, we've got about 6 dBs of compression. There's a slight harder edge to it now. You can hear the pluck a bit more. With it off. Back in. A bit punchier. And now we want to brighten the strings up a little bit. I mentioned the sidechain EQ earlier. That can be used to key the gate or the compressor. But I can also switch it into the signal path. So I'm actually using this two-band parametric EQ here. I'm using the high frequency to brighten up the strings. Give it a bit of a twang. With it off. Slightly dull. Back in. You can hear the strings. It's great. And just for finishing touches, we're going to give it some of the fantastic warmth control on the dynamics. This is set to 100%. You can hear that depth already. I'm just going to switch it out. Back in. Big, beefy bass sound. Off. Let's switch it into the track. Now if I bypass it, you'll hear it's sounding pretty weak. Back in. I'll just do that again. I'm going to bypass it. Now I'll bring the effect back in. Very easily, I've now got a fantastic sounding bass part using the Oxford Dynamics plugin. So let's recap. This is the dynamic section from the Sony OXFR3 digital console. It comprises of many sections including compressor, gate, expander, limiter, two band sidechain EQ with audition function, warmth control for extra presence. You get three different compressor types with variable soft knee and a separate 5.1 bus compressor where supported.